Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. So let's solve a joint variation problem. If y varies jointly or jo is jointly proportional to x and z, notice that there's two variables over here now. There's an x and a z. And y is 100 when x is 4 and z is 5. Find y when x is 6 and z is 4. All right, so first step, I want to write the um, equation in variable form. So y is jointly proportional to x and z. So y equals k x z so joint variation and direct variation are very similar to each other they look almost identical except the joint variation problems have extra variables on the end a lot of cases only have one variable on the end one extra variable on the end um, but it could have three or four or five or however many variables you want um, but you're gonna have a multiplication problem alright so um, step number two find k so y is 100 when x is 4 and z is 5. So 4 times 5 is 20. 100 divided by 20 is 5. So k equals 5. All right, so find y when, let's see, k is 5, x is 6, and z is 4. Okay, so 5 times 6 is 30, 30 times 4 is 120, and in this case it's hard to check to, sound, to see if it's reasonable or not, because y is proportional to the product of x times z, so it's kind of hard to check it, so we're just going to assume that that's the right answer, and it is. Okay, so we've done a, some direct variation problems, we've done some, uh, a joint variation problem, and now an inverse variation problem. If f is inversely proportional to the cube of h, and f is 30 when h is 2, find f when h is 5. First step, write the equation in variable form. So an inverse variation is going to be a division problem. So f equals k over h, and it's going to be h cubed because it's the cube of h. All right, so if I cube h in the initial equation, then I have to cube h all the way through the problem. All right, so step two, find k. f is 30. Uh, don't know what k is. And h is 2, but I need to cube it. So, um, so let's solve for k. And I would solve for k by, let's see, 2 cubed is 8. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 8. So that means k equals 240. All right, so find f. Okay, so that's the variable I'm finding. So find f when h is 5. So my k is 240, and my h is 5, so it's 5 cubed. So I do 240 divided by 5 cubed, which is 125. So f is going to end up being 1.92. Um, and again, it's hard to... Well, in this case, it is easy to check. Inverse means they move in opposite directions. If one variable goes up, the other one goes down. So um, f went from 30 to 1.92, so it went down. So that means h should go up because they move in opposite directions when it's an inverse proportion. Two went from or h went from two to five. If it did go up, makes sense. I think I'm right. 